<clears throat> Good evening, everyone. This is Yusuf Chowdhury. Tuning in live from San Antonio, Texas. It is 8.56 p.m. Central Time. How y'all doing today? How's life? Kim, what's going on? How are you doing? So what's new? <clears throat> Does anybody have any type of backup plan? <laughs> Bilal, are you quarantined yet? Me? Come on, man. I am uh, unquarantinable. So just recently heard in the news that uh, uh, right now the the amount of people that can be together in one place should not be more than 10. Go figure. <clears throat> Thoughts on small businesses, tactics to sell online. Uh, life is very cray. <laughs> cry, cry. Shoot in the dark and say what's going on. Thank you for tuning. Okay, with the... Kim, that's an excellent question for the small businesses. I got a couple of tips for small businesses. The good news, I think, uh, Greg Abbott, the governor, basically said that they're not going to shut down the restaurants. But uh, I heard that uh, more than 30% of restaurants are right now, uh, customers are not attending because of the all the, all the rules for the, for the precautioning and safety. What I would advise... Specifically, restaurant is that they need to put an announcement on their social media channels, on their website. Uh, if uh, customers cannot attend the establishment, they are more than welcome to utilize Postmate, da uh, DoorDash, and all these uh, delivery services. Okay, uh, but they they have to make that announcement on their website, on their social channels. If that's the case, uh, because you know the staff need to continue to work you know what i mean <laughs> that's one if it's uh, for other businesses uh, this is the time for them well listen that's not the time but uh, online it's 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 a huge important aspect that even if you're an if you're an offline type of business you do have to figure out how can you make that online so let's take an example of a yoga instructor so somebody go to the gym to practice yoga now probably most people are not gonna go there so what you need to do create an online video or do like a live streaming and showing the customers, hey, you can practice from home and just watch me how I'm doing it and I'll, and I'll watch you how you're all doing it, right? You can use different live streaming platform or webinars or Zoom and whatnot. And if you want to test it, the best thing is just open a private Facebook group, invite your customer to that group and just go live on that group and there you go. Now you have a free live streaming service. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Those are some of my ideas for small businesses. Can you do the downward dog? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. What's, I don't know what's your problem. Where are you at? Are you, are you in Pakistan? Where are you at? Where are you at, Bilal? How is everything there? <clears throat> yes, Kim, and you can definitely share that because there are some folks that I think most people are probably not going to leave for a few days or weeks. But we have to be creative on how to stay in touch with the customers and how can we help them. Now, if you, of course, if you have saved money, then you got to spend your money wisely. While sitting at home, start uh, learning how these online uh, things work. Uh, uh, come up with a solution. Don't just sit there, you know, uh, crying because that's not going to help you got to switch your mindset to be a solution-oriented. I'm going to be here every night. I'm going to live streaming as usual. In fact, I'm not canceling any of my workshop. Uh, I do think nobody's going to show up, but <laughs> I'm still going to be here anyway. So uh, I'll continue to live stream and answer all these questions. All public parks closed, but other than that, good stuff. Yeah, it's happening everywhere. It's worldwide. I, I, I talked to my family back in uh, Mecca and uh, they're doing something similar where all the malls are closed, big gathering places are closed. So if it's for the sake of prevention, you know, it's it's good. It's a good thing. People don't need to panic. Just, you know, do your uh, <clears throat> typical 
uh, whatever the CDC is advising you, just do those. It's not that difficult. It's not that hard. But at the same time, it'd be a lesson for a lot of folks that are kind of used, used to a, a comfortable lifestyle, right? Because if you look at the uh, situation in Gaza, in Palestine, if you look at the situation in Burma, in Kashmir, in Syria, I mean, those folks are like bombs falling on their heads. And uh, and now it's a time maybe to reflect, right? We are, we're not that bad, if you, if you think about it. It might get bad, who knows? <clears throat> but we are in Texas, so we got to be ready. You got to be, you know, do your due diligence. I'm not saying to be too loose or too extreme. You know, just be in the middle, prepare and get ready. And, you know, basically prepare for the, hope for the best or prepare for the worst, whatever the, the, the statement uh, goes. Can you share your uh, workshop and I'll share with, of course, of course, if you can attend, Kim. Well, what, I, what I'm actually going to do, <coughs> oh my God, I'm coughing. Oh. All right. <laughs> I don't want to just, uh, you know, it's March, it's just a cold. It's not a, not a crow or anything like that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do basically, um, uh, if people do attend, uh, I won't be able to live stream that because I'm not able to find uh, a mobile app that can multi-stream. But after the class is done, then I'm going to go back online and uh, live stream it. Okay. So there should be no problem right there. So that's going to be like around maybe 9 p.m. at night around the same time. So if you can't attend, <laughs> you're not going to miss it. So I'm still going to go ahead and uh, and <laughs> to do that. Okay. Walaikum <clears throat> salam. How you doing, brother? Uh, okay, I have to put my kids to bed. I'll be back. Thanks for the energy and being here for us. Absolutely, I'm here. This is this is the time to, to, to help to help out. You know the statement hope for the best <laughs> for the worst. I told you you need to be quarantined. <laughs> you need to be quarantined. No man, if I'm quarantined, I might go insane. I might maybe coronavirus will go insane, you know? No nobody can. Inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the protector after uh, over all things. So I'm not worried, right? We just have to as our Islam teaches, you know, you rely on the creator and tie the camel. It's a statement basically me means, you know, be prepared, pray, but just be prepared. You know, don't just pray without taking any action. So we have to pray and prepare and take action. You know what I mean? Mr. Lopez, how you doing, sir? <laughs> this is my guy. He is on live now. Mr. Lopez, how you doing, sir? Good to see you. Good to see you. How was everything? How was life? What's going to happen this uh, in two weeks? Let's see what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, so these are some of the ideas for, for small businesses. If you're sitting at home, you can't do anything. Uh, take this opportunity to talk to somebody <laughs> at home because we're always like outside working. Now it's the chance to get together with the family, play a board game. You know, you don't need to watch Netflix for, you know, 24 hours, but at the same time, make some plans, right? Uh, take this time, an opportunity to learn uh, to think of a solution. As I mentioned, I'm going to be here almost every night. So if you have any question, you need any help, feel free to send me a DM messages. I'll be more than happy to help out and give back, especially for the small businesses, uh, because I've seen so many local businesses here and some of my friends are actually already seeing, so, seeing some, some sort of uh, negative effect. But don't worry, you know, sometime with hardship, you know, there is ease, right? With, with difficulty, there's always going to be an ease. Uh, but at the same time, don't just sit on your ass, <laughs> do nothing, think of a solution, right? So as I mentioned, if you have a social media channel, if you have a, a website, you might want to make that announcement, especially for customers that attend your facility. Uh, let them know that you are following the, the guidelines according to the CDS, keeping the place clean and whatnot. And the customer are more than welcome to come. So you can do that sort of organization. If you're in a gym, if you're a fitness trainer, you can have them come and maybe stay like six feet away <laughs> to do the workout. And if you don't feel comfortable, that's totally fine. Then figure out how to do it online. What I mean by that, uh, do a live streaming. And that's what I've been saying since 2015. Live streaming, folks, live streaming will definitely help you. Now it's a time to utilize the live streaming. Okay. If you don't want to invest in, Companies like Zoom.us or any type of webinar, 
you can send messages to your audience, to your customers, and have them come back to either your Facebook business page or to a private Facebook page where you can broadcast live for free. It is not going to cost you anything to broadcast live. You can do it from your laptop or you can do it from your video and it still continue to help your customers from that perspective. <clears throat> okay? But uh, as, as I mentioned, the good news is that the restaurant is going to be open. Uh, I think the grocery store is going to be open. I'm not seeing all the businesses are closing down yet. In fact, I went to this one place uh, called Mission Ridge, Mission Ridge Range in Academy. Interesting place. Okay? They're open. They're getting a lot of customers because <laughs> of the situation. I'm like, they're, they're, they've seen an influx of customer coming in to buy the firearm so so check it out all right check those places out and um, yeah okay so as you can see as usual uh let's see go ahead and ask me any question let's see uh, let me know if you have any question brian gibbs welcome to the gun show <laughs> All right, welcome to the gun show. Yeah, that's that's a great place. I'm gonna have to let everybody know this is an amazing place. What is it called? Can you all see this? Yeah, very good place. They have archery. You know, they can also buy firearms. Very smooth process. Great customer service. Everyone's professional there. Uh, what I like about it, you can actually, you know, test. Uh, they have a shooting range. And then get, go through the background check and all and whatnot and, and get it get it going, okay. <clears throat> but uh, let's see, are there any questions tonight? Are there any questions? You have any question about digital marketing? Feel free to ask, folks. Feel free to ask. I know you all you all sitting at home right now. You have no excuse. Uh, just last like I posted about it and said. Again, I'm just, just talking to my the word camp event will continue this month, but it is going to be live streamed. Okay, uh, during this public health crisis, can we increase? Our posting frequency, excellent question. That's a good question. Honestly, <clears throat> what I would do, before you increase your uh, posting on the social channels, check the analytics for the past two, three days. Look at the analytics, see what's happening. Are people still consistently uh, checking the same post, having the same engagement? If it is, then you can probably increase it to an additional. What I mean by that. If you post once a day, try twice, see what happens. See what happens to the number. Because if everyone's, you know, sitting at home or working from home, I guess probably there's more chance for them to kind of, you know, uh, mess around with Facebook or all the social channels. One second. Okay, yeah, I just thought to confirm about the WordCamp event. The UTSA downtown is going to be closed. But every speaker from the WordCamp event will live stream their classes or their workshop. Uh, Bridget, should you have the same profile picture on all your social media pages? That's an excellent question. And my answer is yes. You should have your social media uh, profile the same, especially if you are doing a personal if you're a personal brand person or a personal consultant or coach uh, or a trainer, then I prefer that you have your one picture on all the social channels. Why is that? Because when they can identify you from one account and they see you somewhere else, oh, that's the same person, right? <clears throat> I know some people will do like, a <clears throat> excuse me, like in LinkedIn, they'll put a professional picture. On Facebook, they probably put a casual picture. On Twitter, they probably put a cartoon picture. I mean, you don't want to do that, right? Some some people put like dogs. I don't know why. And some people put like a bunch of other 
folks in one picture. So I don't know which one, which, you know, just use one professional picture because that's how people go to identify you everywhere. It, it, it is much easier for your target audience to know who you are. Same thing with the logos. If you have a, a business logo that you're using on your social channels, make sure it's consistent on all the other social media platforms because it's quickly recognizable and that's how they can identify to make sure that you are the actual owner and uh, not somebody else trying to copy. <clears throat> You know what I mean? <coughs> Man, this license is not working. <clears throat> you are most welcome. Uh, what problem? Uh, what platform do you recommend for posting online courses? That is an excellent question. There are tons that is up to you. <clears throat> the question is, what platform do you recommend for posting online courses? You can check out teachable.com. You can check out... Uh, <coughs> My God, you can check out uh, Thinkific.com. You can check out, what is a Skillshare? There's so many uh, uh, third-party companies that can actually help you and it will make it easy for you to set it up, okay? But you have to pay them uh, monthly, right? And of course, you don't own the platform 100% because you pay them monthly and that is the most uh, easiest way uh, and mostly uh, and, and easiest way and also time efficient because... If you want to start something from scratch, let's say a WordPress platform, a domain hosting, a domain name, a membership plugin, and from scratch, if you're not very well versed in this, in the WordPress and the technical technicality of how to put things together, it's going to take you longer. Now, if you want to start something quick, I'm not saying quick like super fast, but something within less than a week, then look into teachable.com or thinkific.com because they have a platform that is ready. They come with the landing page. They will help you how to upload the videos, upload the document, and you can have a, a, the membership uh, courses uh, properly set up for you. Make sense? So you can try with that. Why? First of all, it's affordable. And secondly, uh, uh, to me, it's also very, very easy. It might not be easy for you, but I would say for average people, it's still easy. And third, you can test it because it, it wouldn't make sense if you invest a lot of money. If you, if you have a lot of money, that's great. Go ahead and pay me and I'll, I'll build something for you for like... Five to ten grand, right? But if you don't have a lot of money, or if you have some, let's say, a couple of thousand dollars, you want to test it. Uh, that's kind of a high risk because you don't, sh you're not sure if it's going to work or not, right? But if you go with Teachable, it's like probably fifty bucks a month. If you have a couple of hundred bucks for, you know, running Google ads or being advertising or Facebook ads, you can get the traffic to your uh, online courses. You can test it and see what happens, right? So you can take the risk, but I would say take the risk. Uh, not just strategically, but also take a calculated risk, okay? <clears throat> so check out those places, Teachable or Thinkific. I know there's a Skillshare, there's Udemy, which is only one-time thing, but with I, I did help a couple of my clients to start with Teachable. They're, they're kind of super happy with it because it's very easy to set up, and they, they have students, and they're doing very good with the business. So later on, if you want to do completely uh, solo, what I mean by that, to have full access, full control, full ownership on a online course, and you can go with WordPress and whatnot later on once you make enough money. Okay, uh, that was an excellent question. So, Bridget, the, the Lysol is <laughs> now. I've, I've been actually, what do you call it? Yeah, the Lysol, the Lysol, right? Oh, just that's, that's a joke. The uh, and it's March. I'm still, you know, like uh, you know, it's just it's the cold, and uh, you know, I'm used to that. Uh, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. These are great questions. Any more questions on online marketing? By, by the way, folks, if y'all, if you, if y'all, if y'all enjoyed or enjoying, enjoying this uh, live stream, do me a favor. Go ahead and tag some of your cool, awesome business friends. Uh, invite them or share this. I would highly appreciate it. Okay. So this is the time. Well, not the time, but it's, I do say this every day. Take this opportunity to ask me anything. You have a website that you want me to look at it. I'll look at it. You need some advice on how to do things and improve things. Let me know. Ask me right now. Because you're not doing... What is, what is, what is this? What is this? Okay, ask me right now. <clears throat> See a social media. Just stopping by to say hi. Hi! Okay, 
How are you? CS Social Media in Periscope. Thank you for tuning in. Much appreciated. Uh, let's see if there's any more question here. Any more questions? I got folks on Periscope. Uh, a, oh, Brad, uh, thank you for tagging me in one of the events that I'm going to do on, 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 when is this? When is this Thursday? Yeah, now it's the time. I keep saying now it's the time. While guys sitting at home, think of solutions. Think of solutions, okay? Solutions are endless. Solutions are endless. <clears throat> Any more questions, folks? Any more questions? These are great questions. Do you think the internet will come to a temporary end? Uh, you know, anything is possible. You never know. With this situation right now, if it happens, what are we going to do? <laughs> right? Uh, Melanie, if it happens, what are we going to do? I guess uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm good. I know I, I, I come from the street, back home street. So even if it goes out, no big deal. You know, I can figure things out. I'll go like uh, like a stone stone age mode. But if it does, then then what's the next step, right? That's a that's a very good question to ask. Now, is, is it going to come to an end? We don't know. We don't know if the grid goes out. <laughs> this crisis, it's like a movies. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. Y'all get ready. Be prepared, right? Buy the necessary stuff, not just the freaking toilets, you know. Go get yourself a bidet from uh, from uh, Amazon for twenty four bucks and hook it up to toilet. And you, you should be good, much much cleaner and, and comfortable. Uh, uh, let's see, Dylan. Do you think if you uh, sorry, Melanie here asking a good question? Do you think if you use just a regular Facebook Live, does it look any less professional? That's an excellent question, Melanie. Well, when it comes to professionalism, I mean, for me personally, it really depends. What does it mean, professionalism? Because if my audience, like for example, there's so many live streaming channels that I've seen over the years from different niches and different businesses and different uh, type of genres. Some of them look so like, I don't know, basic, but yet they have huge audience, right? And the audience still come and watch and see, right? So the word professional is kind of a little bit difficult to define because what is considered professional? Because a professional video or live stream for one person might not look professional to another uh, high-end uh, uh, creative expert, for example, right? But if you want to make it uh, a live streaming with, let's say, similar to a TV production, I mean, you can always check out live streaming pros by uh, Lauren David. They always talk about professional type of live streaming with rule of third, people's comments, and you know, cool stuff that happens on the, on the video. Uh, I'm not saying that's not important. It is important, but it depends on where is your level. How far you can, what, what can you do? How far you can produce a live streaming? Do you have the funding and the resources to produce professional right away? Or is it best for you to just kind of start where you at, build the audience and slowly and eventually improve it as you grow? Make sense? I'm, I'm with the one that always says, just start, and make it, you know, improve it as you grow. That's that's my philosophy. That's how I've always done things, you know, especially even with my own business. <clears throat> uh, Bradley, what's going on, my man? Thank you for tagging uh, the event on the YouTube, man. I really appreciate it, brother. Add me as a co-host, and it will run on my page. I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll definitely do that. Let me let me do that. Let me add you as a, as a co-host to. If anybody wants to share my workshop, let me know so I can add you as a co-host. Let's see. Co-host. What can I add as a co-host? What is this? What is this? Let me see. Uh, co-host. Where can I add? I'm going to edit. Give me a few seconds here. <laughs> because of coronavirus. On Facebook. Yeah, it is on Facebook. I'm looking at it real quick. I'm like, I look for your name. Members. 
Remember, is it come in, come in, interested? <clears throat> okay, okay, I'll definitely do it. I'll definitely do it. I'm just can find the. I know it's there. I know it is there. I just can't find the option. I'm the edit. Go host, go host, go host, go host. Yeah, I tried. Unfortunately, it only gives me, <laughs> it only gives me like remove. I don't wanna, I don't wanna remove you, brother. Okay, that's the only option I'm getting. <clears throat> so anyway, I'll do it, man, for sure. I, I will definitely do it. I will definitely. I know it's there. There is a way, but this thing. I'll definitely add you as a host. Yusuf, uh, for doing a, a Facebook Live like you're doing right now, what are your top three tips? My top three tips is uh, stay consistent and provide something valuable to your audience. And three, do not worry about perfection. <laughs> okay? Do not worry about that. You know, just, uh, just, just get it up and running. Okay, because what matter what matters most is your audience. When they like it and they enjoy it and they come back over and over, they ask a question. Because I still get a message in my DM. People still asking, and that's why I'm doing this every night. Makes sense. And eventually, of course, I'm gonna make it better. You know, because I'm taking care of the clients, which is my priority, and I do this on my free time. That's the least I can do. Makes sense. Alvin, what's going on? What am I, what, what I'm watching? What's what what am I watching, Bridget? Hmm, he's asking. It says, ask me anything about digital marketing. So if you're a business owner, you have a question, feel free to ask. Yes, Marnie, is it because the most important thing, I, I, the reason I say this three most important point, and I'm glad you asked that question, is that that I've seen a lot of folk, pe folks, a lot of people that focus too much on the tools, on the equipment, on the light, on all this thing, and yet they forget the most important thing, it's the content to the audience, right? I mean, if I can give you a simple task, and if you can't do the simple task, why do you want to go after a possibly difficult task, right? Start with a simple thing, uh, get comfortable, have confidence, right? Build the confidence. Then after that, go ahead and start, you know, improving it. In fact, if you look at all the other successful folks, that's how they always did. I'm not saying look for low quality. All I'm saying that your content matters so much, I want to see the content first, right? Especially you, Melanie. You've been doing a lot of things with blogging, with social, with events. So I'm sure your audience is going to love that, to hear from you. So why not just go live, start talking about it, and answer those questions. Nadir Mujahid, how you doing, bro? Good to see you. <clears throat> uh, uh, Brad, says, talk about maximize the digital marketing and social media during this time with people working from home and how to increase traffic for small businesses online since people are not coming in online. Yes, Brad, I did talk about it in the beginning when Kim was here. <clears throat> One of the questions was, how can we help uh, small businesses right now? <coughs> <coughs> Coronavirus. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> so uh, the first thing I said, uh, especially for restaurants, I mean, what they can do, uh, they can go to the social channels and the website. If they have an email list to let the customers know, listen, we are following all the rules according to the CDC guideline. We make sure that we're doing it every day. They can do a live streaming to show that. Uh, they can also utilize the, you know, uh, what do you call it, um, DoorDash, uh, uh, Postmate, Uber Eats, and whatnot for delivery. In fact, right now, how do you, uh, there's an article that I shared today from TechCrunch where a lot of folks downloaded these uh, uh, grocery delivery apps, and more than like 280%. So people that, that don't want to go to Walmart or HEB, <laughs> they can use the app for the food to get delivered, Right. So for a restaurant, they can, they can do that. They can actually announce it on the social channels, on the website to tell the customer, yo, if you can come in, we don't understand, you know, even though we're following all the rules, uh, at least you do order and you can utilize these companies, okay? Uh, with those offices like, you know, gyms or yoga instructors or fitness trainers, that, that's what I've been saying for years. You need to have your own online training videos, right? So now you can do an experiment. You can actually send messages to all your customers, create, uh, or you can just go live on your oh. Facebook business page, or you can create a Facebook private page and invite those customers and do like a live streaming, show them how to do the workout. Make sense? 
so you can utilize the 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 what do you call it the the webinars the live streaming to stay in touch with the customers now since you're at home like bradley was saying learn and understand how social media works learn and understand how seo works learn, learn and understand how even the website works so you can start you know making sure that uh, your customers are able to find you because guess what amazon is they're getting a lot of sales a lot of uh sales right now people are sitting at home and buying stuff from amazon i recently heard that the theater is going to start releasing new movies uh, video on demand right so I, I don't know that's going to be something probably new for the economy like what's going to happen to all these technologies is everything going to be like a robot base <laughs> and also everything from home i don't know i'm just you know thinking out loud here okay <clears throat> let's see any more question take a Take a commercial break. Somebody's by the door. One second. <coughs> that was a nice trick, Brian. <coughs> <coughs> Brian, good one, man. I thought you were outside. Ask me to take a commercial break and come to the front door. Yeah, I did come to the front door. You sucker. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see what else I have. Uh, in store, in store. Imagine them are getting a social media during this time with people working from home and how to increase the traffic for small business online since people are not coming in online in stores. Here's another opportunity because a lot of folks are on, at home understand how facebook ad works okay you can go to facebook.com slash blueprint and facebook has a free course that teach you how to get your customer either to your store or to your website if you're selling something online you can and, and and facebook gives you 15 categories okay you can have a an audience of traffic hit your website so you can capture them if you have a video, you can have more viewership for the video. Or if you have a Facebook page that you want more people to like the page, so you have many categories to select and run. <clears throat> Alvin is like, yeah, Brian tricked me. I was like, Wait, what, what's up with this guy? He's like invisible man playing games with me. Okay. So unless if you all have a specific question, if any businesses here... Uh, if you if y'all can invite any businesses that are struggling right now for the past three or four days, I'll be more than happy to look at their website, look at the social channels, give them some advice, give them some resources in order for them to uh, you know for them to improve themselves. <clears throat> oh, you're hosting a watch party. Thanks, man. Bradley, you are the man, bro. You are the man. If anybody can do what Bradley's doing, it is so great. He created a watch party and inviting his friend to watch this live streaming. If y'all can do this, it would be great. That way we can help all our local businesses. You know what I mean? Any more question here? Let me figure out how can I... Add you about let's see message mm -mm, hosted by oh I know why because I need to go to the page the business page and maybe invite you from there. Well, do Yusuf, you are always my number one referral for all things digital marketing. Thank you so much, Melanie. I highly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So Bradley's asking, let's talk about social media management tools. Excellent question, Bradley. So there are tons of tons of social media management tools out there from Hootsuite to Buffer to uh, Tool. Uh, tons, <clears throat> right? The tons. Do you, do you know any? Thanks for the cryptos. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> okay uh like later there's instagram there's some uh messaging tool only for instagram but buffer app can do multiple 
So you can definitely look into the buffer app because with the buffer app, with the with the with the buffer app, you can try the free versions. So let's say if you have only one social channels, you can use buffer app for free and see how that works for you. If you if you like it, if it's easy for you to to create and uh, adjust and create the campaign and whatnot, you can try with the buffer app. Buffer app. Okay, guess this. I'm trying to look. I'm going to the my business page to see if I can co-host. Let's see if I can add you. Oh, Brad. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, here we go, Brad. Here you, go. I'm, you should be the co-host right now, bro. I uh, sent you a request for that event, and you should be the co-host. <clears throat> Yeah, you have Hootsuite and you have, let me show you guys, let me show you the screen. You have Hootsuite, let me show the screen here. So, there are tons, tons of tons of tools out there. The whole idea behind the tools is that you basically set up the content ahead of the time, okay, and, and schedule it. Okay, once you schedule it, the these tools basically will go out and uh, start uh, pushing your content. Let me see if I can remember my password on this one. <clears throat> okay, what I like about Buffer App is that sometimes Buffer App can learn my audience in in the multiple social channels. We can basically learn and understand at what time. Is a critical time at what time they uh, are more engaging, so you can automatically post those content as well around the specific time frame, right? Here you can. Uh, I think for the free version, <coughs> excuse me, for the free version, I believe you can have like two or three channels. But if you want to pay, then you can add multiple channels. So these are some of my. This is my business page, my Twitter. Uh, what is it? LinkedIn, I think, Pinterest, and Instagram. So you can see all the content that my team scheduled it. Here we go for Instagram, for example, on a daily basis. And this is how it goes out. Okay. Same thing with the Pinterest right here. Uh, some issues. I'm going to fix that. Okay. Okay. This is some of the examples of how I'm posting it on <clears throat> my social channels. Okay. Okay, so you can analyze, you can reply from here, but but the cool thing is you can use these tools uh, to basically uh, schedule a content, right? So you don't have to go on each one of them and do it manually by yourself because Facebook does have a scheduling on their business page, but with this one, you can actually do it on multiple places. Another one, it's called uh, Hootsuite, it's very popular. Uh, they've been in business for quite some time. <coughs> Uh, Sendable is another one. It's a Hootsuite right here. You can check it out. Hootsuite. <laughs> okay. So the best way to manage social media. Uh, they're also affordable, just like Buffer App. Uh, if you want to go with something high end, maybe uh, Social uh, Sprout. Uh, that's a little bit uh, pricey for most of our agencies. But you can definitely check out uh, his suite to track your performance and also for you to basically go ahead and uh, put your content on this, some of the multiple social channels. Okay. This is very good because it will also give you an idea <clears throat> what's happening to the post. It will give you some analytics and whatnot. Okay. But there are tons of, uh, what you call it, there are tons, tons of, uh, tools out there that can do something similar. So try. I, I, I don't like to recommend only one because some customers don't like Buffer. They're more used to like, let's say, Hootsuite. Some like Sendable. Some like Social Sprout. So whatever you feel, whatever you feel like, this is so easy for me to use or I know how to get it and set it up and just go with that because most of them almost do the same exact uh, similar thing, which is to for you to publish the content and for the, for the for the tool to go ahead and submit it automatically to the social channels okay <clears throat> but 
But the most important thing is before even using the tools, make sure that your contents are amazing. See, that's, that's a key. If the content is very good, if the content is uh, some type of information that deals with your audience's uh, p- pain points, challenges, and needs, and you ask questions and you give answers to those questions, and this is what your customer are looking for, it's an enticing material, enticing information, that's what makes them read and comment and share. Make sense? So the content has to be very good. Okay? That worked, but for your event on Thursday, not the live one, but uh, if it's okay, I started watch party on my page and visit the page. Yes, content is king. Uh, <clears throat> well, all my workshops are going to be here. Some of them are going to be at the Broadway location. Uh, and also, thanks to the key co-working space, uh, we're going to also host it there, and they do have a live streaming equipment, so we can do both uh, on that location. So let me show you what kind of uh, workshop I'm having uh, this month. Give me a second here. <clears throat> Content is king if it answers the questions of your audience, right? If, if, if the content doesn't deliver any value, then it has no uh, effort it has no effect whatsoever okay give me a few minutes right here <clears throat> let's see just to remind everybody this um, so tomorrow I'm doing a workshop for a second I thought that was like a bug so I'm doing a workshop on uh, Instagram for marketing. That's tomorrow. <clears throat> going to be right here. Okay. Typically, I always get 50%. So if it's 13, I'm probably going to get like 6. Okay. On the eight, That's going to be right here at this location, the Venture Point, the medical area. Then Wednesday, I'm going to do it, the Venture Point in Broadway in front of uh, Incarnate Ward University. Uh, only like probably five people sign up. That means probably two will show up. Okay, uh, Thursday, I'll do a class on how to increase visibility for YouTube. And this is going to be at the key co-working space. And this is going to be uh, uh, live as well, this one. So I'm going to do both because uh, the key co-working space, uh, they basically told me that they have tools and equipment to also live stream it at the same time. So that way I don't have to do it twice. Okay, <clears throat> this is from this location. Uh, Saturday, I'm doing a seminar from 9 a.m. to 3 or 4 p.m., I think 3 p.m., on how to uh, learn search engine optimization. I'll talk about the some of the new stuff we need to focus on. So this is going to be a very intensive workshop. That is going to be March uh, 21st, Saturday. Then back on Monday, how to start a blogging for business back here on this location. Uh, uh, th- Tuesday the 24th we'll talk about everything new what's new in 2020 for social media marketing then the 25th we'll do WordPress Wednesday uh, Thursday the 26th we'll talk about Facebook business pages then of course the WordCamp uh, the locations are closed but it is going to be live streamed so if you paid for the ticket I believe it's 40 bucks you can basically uh, view each of the speakers live streaming from your home. <clears throat> okay. So unfortunately, the the the, the location is closed for the for the crisis. Okay. I don't know why I call it crisis, but then back on Monday, uh, Facebook advertising. We'll talk about Facebook advertising right here in this location. Then on the thirty uh, first, this is going to be live and also offline. Both. Uh, this is going to be at the key co working uh, space location, and that's it for the month. Okay, that's that's all the classes for the month. How are you sharing your screen? I'm using uh, Ecom. So once in Ecom, I can click on the Ecom screen right here. Then on the top, you have, you know how on Mac you have like the find, you have all these navigation options. And from there it says camera, I'm sorry, source. Then I select share a screen and that's it. That's uh, from Ecom, super easy. Okay. Uh, Marcel, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in. Yusuf Chari, when are you coming to New Orleans area? Uh, hello, it's Marcel. Well, if you can uh, set up a place for me to come by and give a workshop, I'll fly there right now because the tickets are very cheap. But I'm not sure they're going to let me fly. Yeah, it's like 50 bucks just to go to Pennsylvania. 
okay? But for New Orleans, probably cheaper. Yeah, so if you can for sure set up a spot, invite your local businesses, I'll fly and be there in a heartbeat, okay? So there you go. <coughs> Okay, any more great questions? Any more good questions, please, about online marketing, digital marketing, something with your business, with your website, a challenge you're experiencing. <clears throat> we, quickly talked, we quickly talked about uh, what you call it, some of the social media tools. Let's see. What other question you all have for today? <laughs> for sure, for sure. No problem, man. No problem, for sure. For sure we can do that. Absolutely. Let me show you some of the... Uh, some of the apps that people are downloading for uh, groceries you got the Walmart grocery you got uh, Instacart and shipped what Brian you said to stop by what are you talking about man come on Brian what are you talking about you should have knocked the door I stopped by your door was locked <laughs> dude I looked you should come back All right you should knock the door with force Or you should just message me when you get here. So I can open the door for you. Jimmy, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in. Likewise, thank you for connecting with me. I don't have the code. I'm not going to give you the code. <laughs> I, I know you, you, Paul, you, you actually, I can see from your Facebook, you're actually messaging from your home, man. Nice try, nice try. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me show you guys something. Oh, you know what? My phone is getting charged. <laughs> One second. <clears throat> oh my God. Okay, Brian, you you're just playing with me, man. You gotta stop playing with me, dude. Stop playing, man. <clears throat> stop playing, man. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I did cough. There you go. There you go. It's good now. Let me disinfect. Gotta be extra cautious, right? Let me go to the bathroom too, wash my hand. <laughs> wash my face too. With the probably bleach or something. I'll go extra mile. <laughs> Moses well, is better. Don't worry, I'm good. I'm good. I'm uh, I come from a, from a different land. I, I'm like, you know, I have a supernatural uh, anti all kinds of all kinds of viruses. You know, I'm myself, I'm myself, I have a, my virus is usified. All this stuff, Corona, Corona, Borona, whatever, you know, have nothing against me. Okay? Before it hits me, I de it. That's how I do it. For everybody else, y'all need to eat healthy. Make sure that your immune system is strong. Sleep well. Even if you're at home, do some workout, okay? Do some cardio. Keep your body busy. You know, don't, don't, don't stay weak. Because that's one of the things that the virus does. It looks for the, the weakest. Weakest. Wes, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in. Watch that for 20. Yeah, watch that for 20 seconds, right? 
yeah, we, we come from a culture that we always wash, by the way. So, so that's nothing new for us, you know. So this is like uh, uh, c confirming what, how we were living for like ages. <clears throat> okay, any, uh, any more questions about uh, online marketing, digital marketing? Check out this article today. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hey, uh, Divi, what's going on? Good to see you. How you been? How was Las Vegas? Is it still on, is it locked down too? All right. My PR team is slammed. I want to know the easiest tool to stream on, if not straight on Facebook or Instagram, and host webinars on. Any advice? <clears throat> if you don't want to use Facebook or Instagram, even though Facebook is free, I mentioned at the beginning that if you have a Facebook business page or a Facebook private page, you can do live at no cost, invite all the clients or your team to work from there. That's number one. Number two, if you don't want to use that, then you can look at third-party companies like Zoom.us. You can look at uh, Webinar Ninja because the cool thing about Webinar Ninja is so easy to set up. It comes with a landing page. It's, it's, it's mainly made for, you know, creating a landing page and capturing audiences <clears throat> and watching the, the webinar. Webinar can also be recorded if you want to do that, right? So check out Webinar Ninja. Check out uh, Zoom. It's a very popular company. I heard that the owner, the CEO, actually giving uh, free Zoom access to schools, which is something very, very good, something very noble. I think most uh, successful businesses now should take the opportunity and provide help other folks help businesses and give it stuff for free uh, and not like some of the folks that unfortunately exploiting the situation and they're selling toilet papers and sanitizers for expensive fry i think that's kind of ridiculous because you're exploiting the situation and that's something i would never do i i, I find it unethical okay um <laughs> jim is laughing so melissa let me know if i was able to answer your question Christian, what's going on, my man? Thank you for tuning in. It's He says it's 5 a.m. there. It is 9.48 p.m. Central Time right here in San Antonio, Texas. Bridget, is there a way to practice using streaming tools without actually streaming? Ah, that's kind of a question. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a dilemma. What do you mean by streaming without streaming? I mean, in order for you to stream, you have to stream live to make it stream. What I would do, uh, if you don't want anybody to watch you, you can change your profile to only me, and when you go live, it's going to be only you. <laughs> Look at yourself, right? That's number one. Number two, you can create a private group. Just make a private Facebook group. Nobody is there except you, and just go live to that group and see how it looks. Or invite specific people like myself so I can give you some feedback, okay, if your live stream is okay or not. Does that make sense? So, Melissa, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad that I was able to answer your question. Let me know if you have any more questions. Um, let's see. Yes, I mean, if you, the reason uh, Jimmy says, yes, get a private Facebook group because if you don't want anybody else to see it. Uh, BeLive is also good. BeLive is also good. When it comes to... Um, let me show you guys <clears throat> when it comes to uh, uh, live streaming. Um, of course, we have... You can live stream on YouTube. You can live stream on Instagram, Facebook, Periscope, now LinkedIn, if you get approved for their beta. And then you have other, uh, other, I said other, in, then you have other um, uh, multiple tons of uh, other social uh, streaming channel. Let me, let me show you here because I know in Ustream, let me show you here in Ustream shows me how many, how many, companies and sites out there that you can stream to. <clears throat> one second, one second. Let me check, let me check, let me check, check, check. Um, restream, how many, how many, how many? Give me a second here. Let me see how many channels it goes to. Boop, boop, 
Products, multi streaming. All right. Twitch, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook page, Facebook groups. <coughs> I want to see restream to how many channel it goes to. So this is restream. It's a web based, very easy to use. I love their customer support. You can get in touch with the customer support 24 seven, even while you are live streaming. Okay. I just wanted to see what else, because when you log in, it gives me several options on, on how many multi streaming channels. See, but here it only shows me few, but I know there's more. Let's see. Do, do, do. There you go. You see it? No, no. This is does advisor company. Wait, there you go. Give me more, more than Twitch. Product chat scheduler. Mm -mm -mm. Multi streaming. So you can check out restream.io. There's another one called Caster. Caster is another one. Caster is another one. You can also use Caster <coughs> to multi stream. There you go. <coughs> YouTube, uh, Vimeo, Periscope, Facebook, uh, Twitch. That's another one that Chris basically told me about it. Okay, so you can check it out. Stream to multiple sites, low latency, uh, cloud recording. Here are the prices. Okay. But I want to see what are the channels <clears throat> that you can live stream to. You know what I mean? What are the channels, products? I guess once you log in, it will show you what are the channels. Another one called uh, Stream. <clears throat> Yard. So these are all web-based. The, the one that I showed you guys, the the restream and the caster and the stream yard, these are all uh, web-based. So the, the way I'm working right now, I'm using uh, Ecom, which is an application you download to your Mac machine. And from there, I connected it to restream because the live streaming coming from the application itself, which makes it faster and much better than the web. Here's one of my team members right here. <coughs> Okay, so the one that I use right now is called Ecom Live. This is the one that I'm testing right now with Restream. It is only for uh, Mac machine. Okay, this is only for Mac. As you can see, it goes to Switchboard, Restream, Periscope, YouTube, and Twitch. It only goes to like six channels only. But the thing with Ecom, Ecom is not a multicaster, so you have to pick either or. So I pick Restream, and from Restream, it goes to my YouTube, Periscope, and Facebook, okay? So, so far, I'm happy with the system. It's very easy to use and very powerful. I had no issues with lagging, and it, you can have four people at the same uh, with the guest, what do you call a Skype guest. So this is very cool. I also like they have a good Facebook community uh, with a bunch of folks that using Ecom, and they're all helping each other how to improve their live streaming experience. So again, if you have a Mac, you can definitely look into Ecom. Okay. Now there's another one called uh, vMix. Uh, vMix works, I believe, on both Mac and PC. It's a little bit pricier than Ecom. So if you don't have uh, what you call it Mac, you can definitely check vMix. It looks very made for professionals, for like high production stuff. You can connect to your cameras or digital cameras or video recorders and whatnot. So that's another one you can look into when it comes to uh, multi live streaming. So now if you never, if you didn't uh, <clears throat> live stream before, my suggestion is, my advice, start with the Facebook Live first. See how you feel it. Okay. Uh, then after that, maybe if you feel comfortable and if you're ready, if you have enough audience, then after that, you can go with the multi-stream because the issue with the multi-streaming now, if you go with Periscope, since Periscope is connected to Twitter, you can get a lot of trolls coming to, they're going to come and make fun of you and attack you. So if you're not used to those sort of uh, uh, criticism, criticism, 
it might you know hurt your feeling, <laughs> right? So start with the Facebook, see how you feel it, uh, uh, get used to it. Then after that, see if you want to utilize YouTube or other multiple channel to to basically uh, grab more eyeballs of your targeted audience. <clears throat> okay, okay. It is uh, 9.56 p.m. Central Time. Do you all have any question about digital marketing? Uh, hey, what's going on, my friend? One of my team is right here. Joner, good to see you, bro. How you doing, my man? Uh, Jim says, I gotta go. But how often do you do Facebook Live? I do live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope every day from Monday to Friday. Uh, anywhere between, I start around 9 p.m. and sometime at 10 and sometime at 11. Rarely at 1 a.m. or 12 a.m. Um, but maybe this week I'll try to do it earlier if possible. Okay. In fact, I do have a workshop uh, tomorrow and uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So the workshop will start at 6.30 till 8. So after that, I'll probably, you know, come live and cover some of the subject that for people that couldn't attend the class or the live workshop. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Any more questions, please? Any more questions, please, please. I'm sure you have you all have tons of questions. Tons of questions. Tons of questions. Tons of questions. It is 9.58 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to wait for like a one or two minutes to see if anybody asks. If nobody asks, then I'll go ahead and bounce. Uh, what is this? What is this? Urgent community notice. So one of my friends basically live, live around this area. You get a notice from the neighbors. What is it? Uh, security alert for USA resident. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is true. Uh, be warned. There is a group going to homes and pretending to be officials from Home Affairs. They have documents with the letterhead Department of Home Affairs and claim to be confirming that everyone has a valid ID for the upcoming census. They're robbing homes. They take oh, take notes. There is no initiative like that from the government. Send this on your neighborhood group chat. They are everywhere and they look presentable. Please alert your family and friends. Interesting. <clears throat> Usually when I get this sort of message, I have to research and, and find out if this is true or not. Okay. Got to double check it. I don't know if anybody got this sort of message. Let me know. <clears throat> okay, folks, it is 9.59 p.m. Central Time. Anybody else has a question? One more last question about online marketing, anything about digital marketing, uh, something you are struggling with or something you need help with, please feel free to ask. Any more questions? <clears throat> Let me check this notice. Do, 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 do. Hmm. 
Ahora lo decides más allá. Weird. Oh, I let it go. Ah, let's see. All right, folks, I don't see any more questions. It is 10.01 p.m. Central Time right here in San Antonio, Texas. If you all have any more questions about website, social, SEO, online ads, um, online marketing, digital marketing, feel free to send me those questions. I'll be back here tomorrow around the same time at 9 p.m. Central Time. Thank you so much for tuning in live. Stay well. Be good. Take this opportunity to, uh, you know, uh, think about some of the solution that you need to implement for your work or business and whatnot, and I'll be back tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye for now.